One of the options you have when you're doing brake lines on your car is you can go with hard lines like they do from the factory or you can go with the flexible AN lines. Now, the flexible AN lines, while they do make it very easy for routing and getting around weird corners and stuff like that, price point starts around 150 bucks for a, a set of uh, lines. Um, and I think it's even somewhere around that for just a co you know, coil of 3AN line. On the flip side, for $11.25, you can get 316's coated brake line um, like all the manufacturers put in the cars uh, from the factory. So that's what we're doing um, since we're on a bit of a budget. There are a couple considerations when you're working with hard line. It comes in a coil, so you will need to straighten it. Um, you will need to cut it, you will need to deburr it, and you will need to flare it. All of that can be done f relatively inexpensively. You can get the big straightening tools. Um, they're like going into the into the clamp here. They have a, there's like I think six rollers in it, and you just feed the line in. It straightens the line out for you. They're pretty pricey. I get this little Eastwood handheld one. I think it's under 50 bucks. It does quarter and 316s, which is nice. Um, so you can quarter inch is usually used for hydraulic lines, like for your power steering and stuff like that. So you can do that. So that's not too bad. But you don't even need it. It depends on how aesthetically pleasing you want your setup to be. I mean, you can unbend this by hand. Keeping in mind, it's gonna be bent anyway, for the most part, depending on, you know, it's going around corners and, and stuff like that. And a lot of times, brake lines are in cavities in the car. They're not exposed, no one's staring at them. So, if the stuff that is exposed, like by the master cylinder and stuff, again, those are usually doing a bunch of complicated turns and they don't need to be super straight. Um, if you do have exposed lines that are super straight, definitely get a straightener, because um, it will make the line look nice like this but to use it it's it's, it's really super simple um, you just kind of get it roughly straight with your hand and then you just run this bad boy on do that and there you go easy peasy all right so i have everything kind of mocked up in the car how it's going to go um i've got our our cables kind of zip tied of basically where the bracket's going to hold them same thing uh, with the fuel lines. Um, I've got our coolant tubes here just as a kind of guide for where we need to be spatially because um, we're very much in a fight for real estate right now. So that said, uh, I've found the easiest way when kind of mapping out brake lines is to just use TIG wire. Uh, this is the 116th kind, but um, use whatever you got. All I'm trying to accomplish with this is to get kind of a rough idea of the mounting so I know roughly the length of tubing I need to cut. That way you're not trying to work with a four foot length of tube in this small of a space, right? We also don't want to cut it too short. So once the line's straightened, uh, what I do then is I take my TIG wire and it's really just a matter of walking it down along the line to get a rough idea how long you need. So then to cut it, you just use get a, get a, a tubing cutter um, from your plumbing section of your local hardware store. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I think the, um, like if you get like a brake flaring tool kit, I think they come with cutters. All you do is you crank the little knob, it, it tightens the blade down. You run around a few times and easy peasy, cuts it. Uh, you do need to deburr the end. A lot of the cutting wheel tools have a deburring attachment to them. Uh, this one doesn't because uh, it's so small. But if you don't have a deburring tool, a pair of small dikes, even big dikes work, but small dikes work a little bit better. Um, you just grab one of the, the teeth on it or blades or whatever they're called um, and just run the sharp edge around the inside rotating as you go and this will clean up that little bit of a, a burr that develops from from the the blade um, cutting into the pipe and then once you have this clean and clear you're ready to flare again you can do this cheap um, you can get the like the kits from Harbor Freight or you know online Amazon whatever. Um, I think they're 20, 25 bucks, um, and it will do everything manually. Um, I opted uh, for this version um, to make my life easier. This this makes the flaring process just go a lot smoother. It's not doing anything different than what the manual ones are doing. I'll show you the operations on this, and it's just it's a it's an in and out thing. Um, the flares are perfect every single time. Anyway. Uh, again, it's, it's just an ease of use preference thing, but like I said before, you don't have to go out and spend a ton of money. Um, you can do this uh, pretty cheap. So let's go flare it. Okay, so before we get started, I do want to talk about uh, the dies real quick. All of the 
um, tools are going to come with the standard 45 degree flares. This is your standard double flare, your bubble flare, everything you need for a traditional automotive hydraulic line. Um, you will have to buy the AN flares separate if you're going to do what I'm doing. So what you do is you take your line, you go to operation zero, slam that guy in there, put your die on just like that. Put your clamp on, slide your pin in, get it so it's movable. Then you do this on operation zero, clamp it down. This is gonna make the tube flush with the end of the die and that's what you're gonna need um, to ensure that your, your, your flare is good. So we're just gonna go to operation one, three sixteenths, and grab that, just like that. Then we go to operation two for three sixteenths, Crack that loose. And there you go. So if you are doing AN flares like I am, you are gonna need two pieces of fitting. One is gonna be this little collar. So the nut's actually gonna slide over the collar and then that'll allow you to, to screw that onto your fitting. So once you have that first fitting on, now you wanna get um, the second fitting on as well because once you flare it, <laughs> you can't get the fitting on. So now that I've ensured that we do have our fitting on, um, we'll get the flare on and then we'll start bending it and getting it in the car to where it's gonna live. Well, if I didn't completely suck at YouTube, I would have introduced him already and shown you what we were doing. Uh, the Avocado Avenger himself, Mr. Mark. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Two halves of an avocado in the house. Anyway, uh, so we've been gravity bleeding the system, uh, getting basically what that means is you fill the reservoir up, you crack the bleeders, and you just let gravity We've been here for so it's, long. It's been a minute. Um, and now, though, we are at the very exciting point in time where Mark gets to you know, put in a leg day. And because uh, he's graciously offered, I didn't coerce him at all or bribe him. And Send help. <laughs> so he's going to pump up the brakes while I crack the bleeders, and uh, you get to come along for the ride. Ready when you are, sir. Oh, yeah, there's the burp. Got the burp. That sounds like a real naughty sound. What are you doing? I'm pumping the jug. <laughs> Where's my hose? <coughs> come on. I see I, you're trickling out. Just do it. Pump me up. Pump, pump, pump it up. Pumping. Where are you? Oh, Paul, I'm gonna build a race car. It's gonna be done in three months. There we go. Oh, no, fuck you. More about go on there, you dickbag. Well said. Oh, yeah. Well said. If you wanted factual evidence that I have no idea what I'm doing, that's it. <laughs> Looks good, though. Yeah. <laughs> Mom is alright. Strong stream. Dad is alright. Healthy expector. Alright, pump that shit. Oh. <laughs> Splurted again. Commencing manual. <laughs> Up, down. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing things. I'm here to pump you up. It's frost, sir. Down. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I don't know. Holding. Holding. What, Holding. what can I say? I've got a firm grip. <laughs> Paul is on or off. That's it. <laughs> All right, that should be good. Sick. I mean, either way, letting it sit will just let any residuals come to the that fitting. Right, right, right. And then we'll be we should be good. How's that go again, Paul? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> 15 years of this, like 15, 20 years of this. 
All right, so we have a fully functioning hydraulic system, both with the brake and the clutch now. Thank you, sir. You are absolutely instrumental in the process. You're As right. always, the Avocado Avenger himself, Mr. Mark. I hate avocados. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. um, as you can tell, uh, it's a little late, so late. We're a little tired, oh um, but it's done, and that's the important part. So thanks, as always, for hanging out. I will see you in the next one.